Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. Today I want to show you how to use a command line tool that might come in handy if you are troubleshooting or trying to follow perhaps an authentication or Kerberos problem. Uh, back in the days of XP, we used to have a resource kit tool called Curb Tray, which would sit in your system tray, and you could look at that to find out information about Kerberos tickets that were assigned to your user account. But now in Windows 7, we've got a different tool, command line tool, called klist.exe, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to come here to the Start menu, click on Command Prompt, and open up a window. The command we want to look at is klist, K-L-I-S-T, and I'll just do a dash question mark to see how to use it. So you basically run klist, and then you can either specify uh, tickets, which is the default parameter, uh, TGT or purge. And so let me show you some of these. So if I run klist, TGT, and because this is going to send a lot of information to the screen, I'm going to pipe this to the more command so it goes through one page at a time. And now I can see information on the ticket granting ticket that the KDC, one of my domain controllers, has issued to the account. Now I'm logged onto this Windows 7 box as a regular user, Jack Frost. Running KList does not require any special privileges, which is good because I want to be able to see what tickets did Jack get. Perhaps the problem I might be troubleshooting might be user specific. So I can see here the service that this came from, who the client is, that's the user account, my domain information, the session key, some time information, and very important, this time skew. Kerberos is very time sensitive, and so if your clocks are out of sync, you may be running into problems. But I can tell here, in this particular case, that I don't have a problem. And the rest of this is just the actual uh, ticket granting ticket itself. Now if I run klist by itself without any parameters, uh, the default is tickets, this will show me, and again I'm going to pipe this to more, will show me all of the tickets that have been assigned or issued to this user. So I've got a couple here from the Kerberos service, uh, some for the LDAP service, I've got one for a file sharing on the domain control, probably to access the um, sysvol share. All right, so I can look at, see what tickets I've received, when they were issued, how good they're for, session key, all sorts of information. Now, if I try to access a, a domain resource, for example, let me do a directory listing of a file server. Of course, you have to type the name correctly. Once you type the name correctly, then you will get a Kerberos ticket. So if I go back now, and rerun that klist tickets command, pipe that to more, I should start finding a ticket that is issued to talk to chi-fp01, uh, dc01, dc01, oh there it is, right there. Ticket 2, right, so there is a Kerberos ticket that was issued to allow me to communicate with that particular server. During the course of investigating problems, you may want to clear this ticket cache. Now you can do that with the purge parameter. So I could do klist purge. Now this is not something you should be doing all the time. This is kind of a troubleshooting need because there's no warning here. As soon as I hit enter, I have now purged my cache. So I run klist again by itself. You can see that I have no cached tickets and I don't believe I no longer have a TGT either. Now if I try to access a resource, like let's bring back that command to access the public folder, this will reinitiate the whole Kerberos process. I should get a TGT from the KDC, from the domain controller, and then some Kerberos tickets again. Right, so the access worked. If I go back and look at my klist, pipe to more, there's my information. There's the certificates I have, and if I wanted to, I could go back and look at the ticket granting ticket as well. So I can see everything has come back to me. So that's a quick look at using klist.exe. Again, to learn how to work with that command, klist dash or slash question mark will show you the 
syntax. If you'd like to learn more about troubleshooting Kerberos and what Kerberos is for that matter, uh, I hope you'll take some time to look at the accompanying article. Thanks a lot for your time and I'll see you next time.